we know that God is a reality and He is personal God. That means He has a personality like us. Like us, He can see, He can listen. So, in His glory, we will pray, we convey our feelings through this prayer, prayer. So you connect yourself. with God as a reality. And there is nothing to doubt about God as when you see a smoke you do not doubt that there is a fire. So similarly, as fire, if there is smoke, the fire is a certainty. Similarly, if this world is a creation, the existence of reality is a re crea creator is a reality. So I read the prayer and you can also, because you have the copy, you can either in either mentally or you can speak also with me. Dear God. Help us to recognize you above all else. Enlighten the eyes of our heart that we might see you and notice how you are at work through our lives. Give us, wisdom Give us wisdom to make the best choices. Make the best choices. Fill, us Fill us with desire to seek after you, desire to seek after you more, than more than anything else in this world. More than anything else in this world. Let your, Let your spirit and power breathe in us, breathe in us again, again fresh, fresh and, new. and new. Thank you, Thank you. That, you are greater than anything that you are greater than anything we may face in our, la our day. Thank you. Thank you. Your presence goes with us. Thank you that your presence goes with us. And that, and that your joy is never dependent. And your joy is never dependent on our circumstances. On our circumstances. But, but it is our true but it is our true and lasting strength. No matter, no matter what we are up against, what we, are up against. We, ask we ask that your peace, your peace lead, us, lead us that it would, that it, it would, that it would guard, our guard our hearts and minds, minds 
in you. We ask for your grace, ask for your grace to, cover to cover our lives this our day. Lives Again, we ask for your grace, we ask for your grace to, cover our lives to cover our lives this day. We love you, God. We love you, God. We need you. We need you. We need you. So it it is a nice player. A nice prayer. There is one point in this. three most important pages. One is no philosophizing but simple and practical action plan. No philosophizing but simple and practical action plan. We find many people talking very deep about this world, God, etc. About life, they can talk very well. Sometimes it is so hard that you cannot understand. But I have been in teaching profession I had so many colleagues as a teacher of philosophy and I had so many friends teachers. I was surprised that they read ethics, they read religion, they read philosophy, they teach philosophy, they teach religion, they teach ethics also. But they all do just first for the salary, take it as a job. There was no sign of the philosophy or the religion or the ethics. They are most unethical, they are most unreligious and they, they are most unphilosophical. Unphilosophical means there was no logic in their life. They also follow the dogmas. They teach ethics, they read ethics, but they are 
fully involved in corruption. They teach the importance of dharma, but they practice adharma. Some are very good scholars also. They are invited because they have lot of degrees. So they are invited to give talk. A most corrupt professor is invited to talk about the ethics, about the moral morality. Same way, you find this is the academic situation. Their philosophy has become only to find some degree, to find some no philosophy, to get good marks in some competition or in some job. But it is quite delinked with their life. And that you also see the un... This is academic. There is none academic policy. Philosophy is not only a, a academic things. Outside academy, outside university, there is a big kingdom, kingdom of philosophy and religion. There are so many gurus, there are so many teachers, yoga teachers, there are so many In India, now so many gurus, spiritual gurus who have millions of followers, they are in jail. They, you might have heard about the Asharam Bapu. You have heard? Asharam Babu, just before 10 years, he was the most popular and most renowned Dharma Guru, spiritual Guru of India, Asharam Babu. And now he was charged. with rape case he sexually abused the daughter of his own disciples and this was his regular practice it was not he had a system for this. If in the crowd of women he can choose anyone and the message goes to her, Guruji is happy with you. So you are the most lucky that you are going to. So this way he used to and he was maybe about seventy years old. And the charge in which he was arrested, he came to the judicial 
custody and police custody he raped a minor girl and now for 10 years he is in jail in rishi case he always used to come ashara lot of crowds so they can give lecture about many hindu scriptures hours and hours that is called satsang so it is very surprising and he was also a big ma- big land mafia he has captured so many property in india and even in abroad you can see him on google type ashar people listen them hours and hours and there is no effect the scholars many scholars of vedanta in academics also they can discuss you the most difficult philosophical aspects of vedanta but after the talk in the seminar first thing they ask with the organizer that my payment is ready my money is ready or not so his focus is on he is talking about maya this world is maya but he is so it has become a mockery you are talking about vedanta you are known in india for a very good vedantist you know in in a scholar field radha krishna is considered as a very big philosopher he was the president of india also his book indian philosophy is sold throughout the world and it is considered as the best not best but it can one of the best books of indian philosophy and he was having a very political mind and finally he got the highest post in india that is rashtrapati president of india and when he was president or had there was a charge on him that he had stolen the thesis of his student and after some little change he published with his name but this is not uh, very 
but it was a charge but that is anyway because he was president this case was not pursued no so i mean that even philosophizing something and studying so many books doesn't work you know when we are looking some philosophy and some religions there is always a social and ethical part in every religion there is a social and ethical part not a single religion when it was propounded by someone they never give less importance to the social aspects so the at last every religion says you some very simple and social and ethical things support service so simple but it is the cream of all the religion all the mo- big books mother teresa was a christian lady what she did for the whole life she took one word service to the needy service to human kind even in gita in karma yoga also we saw that all the things that ends with the service to humanity and it is very simple thing that's why i have said that not philosophizing but to simplify it what you do is more important than what you know if it doesn't change you just nothing that's why karl marx said that religion is an opium opium you have heard this line karl marx was very anti religion he said that religion only work and people took it in practice like an opium opium all the philosophers are explaining the world philosophizing the world but the main problem is not to know the world but to change the world so how to change it so he gave his own way to change the world 
everyone cannot be agree with his opinion because religion is not that only which he, he understood a religion is a wide thing so don't philosophize don't lost in the philosophy it is a only mental game mental exercise to involve in there is one reality or two realities or three realities it is a mental exercise even the einstein the person who has the biggest mind and he did the biggest mental exercise and he discovered the deepest law of nature you see the law of nature is the mind of god so he discovered what was never discovered he also said that if in your life you didn't serve the people your life is not worthy the only worth is how much you serve the people he was the greatest philosopher but in, in spite of that is conclude a very simple thing he was also a practitioner of gyan yoga what gyan yoga any gyan yoga it is said that to know the world to know the thing is gyan yoga to know the everything but even after knowing everything many things you come to the very simple conclusions simple the simplify ultimately it is simplified because everything should be useful for everyone so i say don't philosophize but simplify so this is my effort is also to simplify the things and put the things in a simple way and put something to use it to practice it okay it is an exercise you can go you can philosophize but understand that this is only a exercise suppose you do exercise of your hands your hand will be stronger similarly if you work with your mind 
too much, your mind will be stronger. But this is not going to serve your ultimate goal. Ultimate goal is to find the ultimate truth, to realize the God. So for that, there is always simple path. Bhakti Yoga is also simple. Jnana Yoga is also simple. Gyan, uh, sorry, Bhakti Yoga is simple. Jnana is, al- is also simple if you take it in a with a prop with a with a good approach. Because everyone has different strength with his mind. So you have also limited mind. I have also limited mind. But you can practice exercise with your mind. Maybe this way sometimes you understand the futility of the world. When you go to know everything, then you can also realize the futility of things. You give so much importance to life and life passed so fast. Life is gone very fastly. So it reminds you that you should try for the God, which is the highest reality and it is the highest bliss. So I said, do not philosophize, simplify and do at least 5% those simple things in your life. That's today I finish here. Maybe tomorrow we will next meet we will discuss some more. Okay, thank you very much.